Learning how to fly an airplane under IMC conditions requires pilots to interpret the indications provided by all the necessary instruments when no outside visual references exist. This also requires pilots to have a full understanding on how these instruments work. In the following videos, EasyFly will guide you in the understanding of all the essential instruments that allow Lieutenant James Doolittle to complete the first instrument flight on the 24th of September of 1929. We will begin with the attitude indicator, the only instrument capable of giving the pilot pitch and bank indication simultaneously. Hello guys, my name is Mateo, I'm a certified instrument flying instructor, and today I would like to talk to you about one of the most fundamental instruments for flying in IMC conditions, the attitude indicator. I will be covering the instrument components and principle of operation, instrument limitations, and instrument checks. The attitude indicator shows rotation about both the longitudinal axis to indicate the degree of bank and about the lateral axis to indicate pitch. It relies on the principle of rigidity in space, which allows a small gyre to spin in a horizontal plane about the vertical axis, resembling the Earth's horizon. The principal parts of interest to the pilot are the miniature wings attached to the case which remain parallel to the wings of the aircraft, the horizon bar, which separates the top light and bottom dark halves of the horizon disk, representing the sky and the ground. And finally, the pitch degree marks for 10 and 20 degrees respectively, and bank degree marks for 10, 20, 30, 45, 60, and 90 degrees respectively. The gyro, mounted in a seal housing, spins in a horizontal plane about the vertical axis. The horizon bar is linked to the gyro by a lever. The two gimbals holding the gyro, one for roll and one for pitch, allow the case to move freely while the gyro maintains its level orientation as the airplane maneuvers. When the attitude indicator is in operation, gyroscopic rigidity maintains the horizon bar parallel to the natural horizon. When the aircraft's pitch or bank attitude changes, the miniature aircraft being fixed to the case moves with it. These movements of the instrument's case with respect to the gyro are shown on the instrument's face as pitch and bank added to changes of the miniature aircraft with respect to the horizon bar. The primary purpose of the vacuum air is to help spin the gyro, but the secondary purpose is to help the instrument fight precession. Precession is a gyroscopic law that says that if you apply a force to the gyro, the gyro will respond with the same force but 90 degrees ahead in the gyro's sense of rotation. The attitude indicator also has to follow the precession law of gyres, and it actually does, but it fixes itself faster than you can notice by the use of the law of gravity. If no force is applied to the gyro, the air that spins it exits from the instrument's bottom through four holes that are semi-closed by doors called pendulous veins. These doors are free to swing, and they do so using the force of gravity. Every time a force is applied to the airplane, the gyro responds with the same force 90 degrees ahead in the same sense of its rotation. So let's say that we pitch the aircraft up. This will exert a force on the gyro as shown, and that force will move 90 degrees in the sense of the gyro's rotation, in this case counterclockwise. This will force the attitude indicator to show a bank, but as the gyro bends, gravity will make the front spinning door open completely and the back door close completely. So the gyro now has a new force applied to it, which also moves 90 degrees counterclockwise and forces the gyro to realign itself with the Earth's horizon. The pitch and bank limits depend upon the make and model of the instrument. Limits in the banking plane are usually from 100 to 110 degrees, and the pitch limits are usually from 60 to 70 degrees. If either limit is exceeded, the instrument will tumble or spill and will give incorrect indications until realigned. When checking the instrument prior to an IFR or BFR flight, ensure that sufficient air is being drawn from the vacuum pump. Remember that the pump is engine driven, so it might take up to 5 minutes for the attitude indicator to show an up and erect position. Additionally, when making taxi turns, the attitude indicator should not show more than 5 degrees and no red flag should appear. The attitude indicator should be the core of the instrument's can. 
so it's critical for instrument rated pilots to fully understand the way it works. Remember that even a 777 captain doing an ILS Cat 3 approach needs to maintain attitude. Thanks for watching.